basically what this is is it forces air and medicine into his lungs and breaks up any mucus that may be building up so that he can cough it out and it prevents pneumonia and all that so Sachs disease, a rare inherited disorder that progressively destroys the neurons in the brain and spinal cord. Tay-Sachs commonly develops in young children, with symptoms appearing around three to six months of age. Symptoms include rapidly declining development, weakening of muscles, and loss of motor skills. These are followed by increased startle reflex, blindness, deafness, inability to swallow or chew, mental retardation, paralysis, and dementia. Children with Tay-Sachs often will not live to their fifth birthday. starts as a defective gene on chromosome 15, known as hex A. It affects the body's production of beta-hexosaminidase A, an enzyme responsible for breaking down a substance called GM2 ganglioside. GM2 accumulation in the brain and spinal cord progressively destroys neurons and in time causes death. Tay-Sachs is inherited in an autosomal recessive pattern. For a child to be born with the disease, both parents must be carriers. Thus, there is a 25% chance of having a healthy child, a 50% chance of having a child who is a carrier, and a 25% chance of having a child with Tay-Sachs disease. Diagnosis can be made through an enzyme analysis of levels of hexosaminidase A in the child's body. An eye examination can reveal a characteristic cherry red spot on the retina. Amniocentesis and gene sequencing by PCR amplification are also possibilities. There are medications available to ease the worst of the symptoms. Proper nutrition and exercise can slow the deterioration of muscles. Feeding tubes and chest physiotherapy may also be necessary. Although there is no cure for Tay-Sachs as of yet, doctors and scientists are experimenting with genetic therapy in hope of slowing the progression of genetic diseases such as Tay-Sachs. Here is a video demonstrating the effects of gene therapy in mice who have the small mammal version of Tay-Sachs disease. The first mouse was not treated by gene therapy and by 16 weeks of age it has great difficulty in moving. To make this movie, the researchers used the mouse's shelter to induce the mouse to move. Difficulty in moving the hind paws becomes more apparent when the mouse is suspended by the tail. Unlike a normal mouse, the GM2 mouse is unable to bring its hind paws close to its body. The second movie is of a 33-week-old mouse treated by direct injection of AAV vector into one side of the brain only resulting in much better function on the left side of the mouse's body than on the right side. The third movie is of a one-year-old mouse treated by four injections of AAV vector into both sides of the brain at four weeks of age. This AAV treated mouse is capable of moving without great difficulty and shows interest in exploring a new environment. Although movement is not normal, this mouse is alive at one year of age, approximately three times older than untreated mice. In the tail suspension test, the AAV-treated mouse retracts its hind paws, as observed in normal mice. It seems that there is a hopeful future in developing a cure for Tay-Sachs. <laughs>